Metastatic brain tumors occur due to the spread of cancerous cells from an original tumor elsewhere in the body to the brain. And this happens when cancerous cells detach from the original tumor, travel via the bloodstream, then reside within the brain. These cancerous cells then grow rapidly into tumor masses that compress or even invade the surrounding brain tissue. And according to the spread of these cells, brain metastasis may be present as a single localized brain tumor or as multiple tumors in several different areas of the brain. Metastatic brain tumors are among the most common causes of brain tumors, with an estimated 150 to 200,000 people diagnosed with a brain metastasis in the United States each year. But what causes brain metastasis? Theoretically, any systemic cancer can cause this condition. However, some types of cancers are more likely to spread to the brain than others. And these include lung cancer, breast cancer, a type of skin cancer called melanoma, kidney cancer, and colon cancer. Metastatic brain tumors cause different signs and symptoms based on their number, size, and location within the brain, where patients experience focal manifestations based on the tumor's specific location within the brain, such as focal muscle weakness or numbness, visual disturbance, hearing loss, or even speech difficulties. Additionally, these tumors can also cause widespread brain swelling or edema, which results in generalized neurological manifestations, such as headaches, seizures, nausea and vomiting, cognitive dysfunction, or unsteady gait. Diagnosis of metastatic brain tumors is usually confirmed by imaging techniques such as MRI or CT scans. Additionally, a tissue sample or biopsy may be obtained from the tumor mass and examined under the microscope to help confirm the diagnosis. When it comes to treating brain metastasis, a treatment plan is tailored to each patient depending on various factors, including the type of the primary cancer and the number, size, and location of the brain metastasis. At first, the patient is usually given medications to help reduce the brain swelling, control the symptoms, and stop any presenting seizures. After that, the treatment mainly focuses on controlling the tumors, either by surgery, radiational therapy, or systemic medications. Surgery aims to remove as much as possible of the tumor while maintaining the patient's neurological functions, while radiation therapy works by using high-energy radiation to kill the tumor cells. And this could be done either by radiating the whole brain with the aim of killing all visible and invisible cancerous cells, or by delivering a highly concentrated dose of radiation to a precise target without damaging the surrounding healthy brain tissue, a technique known as stereotactic radiosurgery. Finally, other systemic medications could also be used to kill the cancerous cells, such as chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. The effectiveness of treatment of brain metastasis depends on various factors, including the type and extent of the primary cancer, number invasiveness and location of the brain metastasis, and the patient's general health. However, recurrence of the tumors in the brain or elsewhere in the body is common, and so frequent and consistent follow-up with imaging studies is essential.